Oh, this is a good find right here. There's some of the discs for it, too. <clears throat> this is late 60s, early 70s. It's made in France. These always seem to sell pretty good on eBay, like 25 to, I don't know, $40. Depends how good it is. This one looks kind of rough. Hi, everyone. I'm back to take you along with me to a church sale. It's a little bit too early. I had to get up early for physical therapy for my ankle because I have arthritis in my ankle. And, you know, you get old, you fall apart, and you have to start putting yourself back together again. So I'm going to go get some coffee first, and then I will take you with me to check out a church sale. And this is going to be something where we're really going to have to use some skills because it's the second day of the sale, and it's probably pretty picked over. But you never know until you go. You might find something worth some good money. All right, I went through here. Sometimes they have good watches, but not today. Check out the uh, this is all the artwork area. These types of dolls usually aren't worth much. Okay, I see something in this area that makes it totally worth coming today. See if you can find it. I'll look through these box of pictures, but I'm going to have to turn off my camera because it would make a lot of noise. I think it's worth about a hundred to two hundred dollars is not this painting and certainly not that painting you might have missed it I almost did because it got uglyfied it's this and the price five bucks so I'm going to have to buy it and take it out to my car and de-uglify it. This is a vintage um, baby planter. Some of them can go for maybe like 25 bucks or if you put them in a lot. It's usually the ones that go for more are not just like a baby block. It's usually like a real cute kitty or a puppy or something. That's pretty cool, but it's chipped. Oh, this is a good find right here. There's some of the discs for it, too. <clears throat> this is late 60s, early 70s. It's made in France. These always seem to sell pretty good on eBay, like 25 to, I don't know, $40 depends how good it is. This one looks kind of rough, but it's like a shredder. So for a buck, I'm going to pick that up. Underneath this was this relish tray, which is pretty, but I'm not picking it up. Seventies Tupperware can be worth money too. That seventies, but I'm not picking it up because it's kind of rough. On the inside, I mean, I don't know how much this one per se sells for, but this one's to hold lettuce, and it should have like a little stem thing that comes up that the 
had a lettuce sits on. But when you get the canisters, like the flour, sugar, um, I don't know what else, <laughs> coffee, tea, those Tupper ones, Tupperware ones, like from the 60s and 70s, can be worth picking up. This would have been about 15 to 20 bucks, except for it's really dirty. I don't really want to deal with it for just that small amount of money. So I just don't like to invest the time. It's pretty old, but it's kind of cracking apart. I usually pick up leather belts, but look at this one's kind of cracking. There's another area that has cracks, but I don't want to spend the time to show you. Oops, <laughs> throwing it around. <laughs> oh, here's an oldie. This is a man's hat. Oh, it's gross. If it was clean, I would get it, but it's so gross, it's hard to clean. I'm not. I don't have big aversions to gross things, but it's just hard to clean fur hat and see it's losing some of its fur there too. I'm trying to find the label to show you. Oh, it doesn't have it in here, but usually there's a um, union label in there and that's um, Persian lamb and they usually sell on eBay for, um, I don't know, 25 to 40 bucks, but like I said, it's not worth my time to clean it, and it's fur. You can't just wash it. Greek fisherman's cap. Well, here's a Snoopy hat for 50 cents. I'm picking that up. Okay, so here's the mirror. Hopefully you can see it. I'm out at my car. I'm just going to take a picture of it. See, she looks so nice without the Christmas lights. It was funny because the church ladies... They wanted me to keep the lights on. They thought that was better, but I told them I don't think so. It has to come off, so some of them helped me take them off. Unfortunately, a little bit of the paint, I don't know if it's going to pick up, got lost, but that's okay because somebody could touch it up. And um, what I'm going to do, just to expedite things, is I have this towel and this sheet on my car. I'm still at the church sale. I'm just going to take some pictures because it's a sunny day out here of the front and the back and some details. Then I'm going to take it to a place that professionally packs items to be shipped. And I know that's going to add, I have no idea how much it's going to add, but I've done it before for my own things. And you know, it could be anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks, which seems like a lot, but I know this mirror is going to sell for a lot and I don't want to make my own boxes, you know, have to deal with that. Um, when someone buys it, I would just hit rather it be totally secure in the box. And then I will just add that cost to the asking price for this item. And I'll um, just explain that. Because buyers who are going to buy something that's going to be expensive, they don't mind. You know, if especially like if they're interior designers and it's going to a big city. That's not going to phase them. They'll just be happy that it um, is going to arrive safely or more likely safely. So I'm going to probably put this up for auction. I have to do a little research on it too, to begin with, but maybe in the $200 range. And if it doesn't sell, then I'm going to uh, just list it as a long tail item in my store. And I'll just add on to this video to show you how much these actually sell for so that you know.